Hey guys, uh, I got another short video for you guys. Um, just a couple updates for my army. Uh, I played another game against the same person. He had uh, Imperial Guard. And um, I try to revise my list a little bit after um, each game and just like fix some mistakes. So I'll show you what um, I changed. Well, this squad, I decided not to change anything more after the Priest because it survived through two combats and was holding an objective, but um, he put like all his ordnance on it and pretty much blew it up. So, um, well, the remainder of it. So, um, they actually lasted a long time. They did really well, especially with him. Um, he was a good addition. Um... Marbo, I put in the wrong place again. Um, definitely don't put him by himself because um, he he's really good at supporting a unit. So say this unit's in close combat and they're not doing so well, deep strike him in, um, shoot something in the first turn, then the next turn he can assault in, and it's four extra attacks wounding on a two up, which is nice. Um, I just proxied these as Rattlings. They're just really quick. I made, um, sniper stands. Uh, I might buy the actual Rattlings, uh, sometime. Um, uh, my HQ did pretty decent. Um, it always comes down to Colonel Shraken and the Medic. Like, those two figures. Um, and I, Master of Ordnance hasn't really done much. Because this is a close combat squad mostly. So he might only be able to get the fire once, if even. And he usually misses, so I might use Master of the Fleet instead. Uh, this squad, I took out the heavy weapon. Um, and just gave him two normal guys. This squad has no special weapons, but I gave him a heavy weapon. This squad's basically going to stay back on objective and pop shots off at tanks um, hopefully try and stay alive uh, and then this squad might um, walk up with like the sentinels to take something this squad will take something by themselves supported by Marbo and these guys will just try and wreak as much havoc as they can um, with their close combat um, and then my sentinel I didn't get to use my flamer guy but um, this um, he really didn't hit anything, and when he did, it didn't penetrate any of the, um, tanks. So, my Sentinels actually didn't do too well, but for a round or two, he used all his fire on them almost. Well, not all of his fire, but he concentrated on them because he saw, um, he saw how good they can do last game. Last game, I got lucky, and very first turn I popped off last cannon shot blew up his tank and then Chimera the best thing I had on there was a flamer because Chimera was sort of going into a big block of his troops so it just flamed it took out a bunch of the troops Shrake and popped off and just like wiped out whatever squad was left and then started to continue on um, to help the other guys so that was pretty nice um see and then after we played a small um, one HQ two tro troop choices um, battle just really uh, quick battle because I had to go soon so I took um, this vet squad colonel and uh, this vet squad um, like this exact setup here and I basically it was them two against his jacked up vet squad and com commissar Yarick and uh, I made the, the stupid decision of going first so I moved up and then his guys moved up and then he he had three flamers that um, would have wiped out all my guys and it was about like 12 wounds but I have no clue how I made all of the armor saves four up for having carapace armor. It was crazy, but I was really thankful. But then um, 
he wiped out my um, squad, this squad here, um, and most of his basic guardsmen are left, but Sergeant Bastone and um, uh, Commissar Yark were still left, and he wiped out most of them, then Straken finally died, and this squad uh, eventually died. So, uh, time's almost up. Um, I'll do a uh, part two for something else I want to show you. So, uh, thanks for watching.